Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm just going to be doing a really simple gerbil recipe. Um, my gerbils really love this. I give it to them, you know, when I go to school or something and I really don't have time to refill their food bowl or whatever. And it actually has their food in it and you can make like versions with like treats in there and stuff. So yeah, here's a picture of the finished product. So what you're going to need is a pair of scissors, I'm just using these kitchen scissors, um, possibly some of your gerbils food mix, uh, I'm using my food mix, uh, toilet paper tube, I'm using some treats, so I have Maverick's favorite treats and Joe's favorite treats here, a cup or a bowl of some kind, a knife or something to mix with, some water, and um, flour with something to scoop your flour with. And sorry I'm filming in my bathroom. It's because my kitchen was really loud and my family members I think might have been doing it on purpose or whatever, but <laughs> yeah. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your toilet paper roll, roll and I'm just gonna cut it into three pieces. So, here's what they should look like. Three pieces. Like this. Okay. So the next step is you're going to take one of your toilet paper rolls, rolls on the bottom. You're just going to bend this inward like this. Like that. And then you're just going to bend the other side inward. And you're kind of going to overlap them. And you're going to pinch the corner. This may take a little bit of practice or a couple times to get, get the hang of it. But yeah, so once you've done that, you want to pinch the corners really tight so none of it leaks out. So it should look like this inside and on the back and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so next you're just going to take your cup and your flour. And I'm going to be adding in about three tablespoons of this and whatever, uh, three spoonfuls of it. I think it's tablespoons. I don't know for sure. But I'm just gonna add in three tablespoons of it. And this is flour. It's the um, non-bleached kind. Make sure you have that or it could be harmful to your gerbils. Yeah, so that's what it is. And then you're just gonna add in your water and you want it to be like pasty and like thick so that you can like spread it. So you want to have it like not really thick like pizza dough, but you want it like pasty kind of. It's like you could easily stir it, but not too easily if you wanted to. Like pour it into something. So just keep mixing it like that until you get your final result. Which should look something kind of like this. Like, hold on, sorry. Like pasty but not too pasty so that it's like glue like thick but not too thick <laughs> you can get that okay so once you have your paste you're just gonna take your food your food mix or whatever and I'm just going to be like dropping it in there you can just like mix a whole bunch in so I'm just gonna like do enough to cover it there's a hair in there. Um, so I put in about that much. And so now I, the goal is just trying to mix it in so that it's really like in there. You can hardly see it on my camera. Like I told you, there's really bad lighting in here. So you basically, wherever you look, you want to be able to see the little mixture. So I would add in like small seeds, big seeds, the whole mix to your thing so that with every bite, they'll get a delicious little munch of something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna add in one more little spoonful. And you kind of want it to be coated in the stuff. So if it's like just sitting on top, you don't want that. Okay, I'm trying to get like 
better look here. Okay, so this is what you should get when you're done. It's like blurry. Okay, there. So this is what you should get when you're done. You want it to be like evenly mixed with some small seeds, big seeds, whatever. Okay. So, okay. So now we're going to fill our little thing. And I'm doing this in the sink because it can be a little bit messy. So yeah. So before we begin, you're just going to pinch the bottom again and make sure it's really tight. Really done and stuff. Okay. So now I'm just going to set my mix in the sink. So you can see it. And so you're just going to grab like a spoon. Or not, sorry. You're just going to grab your knife and you're going to get like a little, kind of like you're scooping jelly out or something. And you're just going to set it inside there. You do not want to fill it. Instead, you want to tuck all the treats into the corners. So like that, you want to tuck all the treats in the bottom. Okay, so the next step you're going to do is you're just going to dig in your treat mixture for mostly just like thin, like the stuff that doesn't have really big stuff in there. And you're going to smother that on the edges. To just get your dribbles interested and in, like the taste and everything. Sorry, I was like holding it up. So you want to put it on top and on the edges and stuff. So this is what your thing should look like. So now would be the time to add any little treats you want on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna take a few of his little, their little treats and I'm just gonna like sprinkle them on. I'm only putting a few sunflower seeds and I'm just gonna like tuck those in a little bit with my finger so they stick into the mixture. Then I'm gonna put a few puff things in there. Just to make it kinda treaty. So yeah. Um, this is what the finished thing should look like before you put it in the fridge. I, I put mine in the fridge overnight, or for at least 12 hours, and then I take it out and let it sit outside of the refrigerator, refrigerator, sorry, um, for, until it hardens all the way, because you want it to be like a chew, you don't want it to be really soggy, and still like mushy. So I would just let yours harden for a day or two before you give it to them. So yes, um, yeah, so that's basically how you do it.